Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'd like to talk about Vazoo, an open source security platform that mostly deals with XDR and SIM related aspects of uh, the security tools. And this is one of the best tools that I had seen, which is open source and free to use in case if you like to deploy and uh, maintain for yourself. And uh, Wazoo also offers a cloud uh, platform, which essentially allows you to do a 14 day trial in case if you like to try and see what the platform is all about from the standpoint of XDR and SIM. Definitely, it's going to be your, your worthwhile in case if you are looking for uh, opportunities and if in case if you're looking to really understand what an XDR and M SIM solution is and if you're getting into security or in case, hey, you might be a, a CISO trying to uh, shop for products, right? And this is a, one of the product that I would highly recommend leveraging uh, in your organization or in, in your enterprise. I, I, again, this platform is being used in in a small to large scale enterprise businesses as well. Uh, and uh, it's one of the popular one. Um, the reason why I say popular and the reason why I say this is one of the, the best tool that at least I had seen um, is that the capabilities, right? Obviously, uh, like I mentioned, you know, it's, it's, it's more, it's more than, um, SIM. It's more than an XDR, right? Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the architecture and, you know, how I deployed and, you know, what I did to get to the, the UI page that you're seeing here. But, uh, that being said, the real, you know, um, components of this platform is, you know, ensuring that you have an XDR or, and also some sort of SIM features to protect your cloud uh, server workloads and your container workloads. That also brings you uh, to generate, uh, you know, alerts uh, based on the information, based on the logs that are being collected from uh, your endpoints, uh, endpoint, uh, endpoints, right? So, and of course, this this platform includes, you know, uh, log data analysis, intrusion and malware detection, FM, uh, file integrity monitoring, configuration assessment, you know, what kind of configuration that you had done on your endpoints, vulnerability detection, and also it's just going to support for regulatory compliance because, uh, you know, probably you might need to comply for PCI or it could just be, you know, uh, HIPAA or it could just be for NIST, you know, 853, or it could just be uh, any other uh, regulatory compliant uh, compliance uh, scenarios. I think uh, the 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 platform is all about four components. One is the one Wazoo indexer. The second one is the Wazoo server, and the third one is the Wazoo dashboard, and the fourth one is the agents. Um, in case if you are deploying for yourself, uh, you know there are lot of steps uh, uh, and detailed instructions provided by Wazoo and you can just visit documentation.wazoo.com and then you should just be able to see each and every document uh, you know uh, Wazoo provides to you. That being said um, uh, in my case I deployed just by leveraging an Ubuntu 2204 uh, a server instance uh, that I spun up in AWS and then I installed all these components that I mentioned. You know, the Wazoo indexer, Wazoo server, Wazoo dashboard and I installed the Wazoo agent on my one of my testing endpoint um, uh, to see you know what kind of logs that I'm collecting, what kind of threats are being detected from this respect to endpoint and how it's being you know you know um, collecting this information and storing the data within the uh, within the Wazoo server, right? You know, <clears throat> that being said, the, there are multiple ways we can collect logs from, you know, it could just be from syslog, it could, because it, you might have some firewalls, uh, you know, uh, network devices in your network where you wanted to collect logs from, and you can deploy agents onto your servers, uh, servers onto your endpoints or laptops, or it could just be, um, you know, you might have some containers on in these endpoints where you want to install agents. Where, 
and uh, there are a couple of uh, you know api integrations that i had seen it's one of one of which is office 365 if i can recollect the other one is uh, aws and uh, i'll have to dig in myself to really understand the scope of this uh, but that being said definitely it's a platform if you wanted to you know you know show understand your regulatory uh, or if you need to satisfy your regulatory compliance scenarios right um, uh, but more importantly uh, if you want to really understand uh, um, uh, the capability of xcr itself an overall aspect of it right so that being said uh, really i want to touch base on this uh, document here as you can see here endpoint security agent is what we can just deploy to any of your endpoints servers workstations laptops um you know whichever those might be and the modules are you know associated with these agents are, are displayed here and the data flow control and then the agent daemon itself like you know you want to make sure your data whatever that's being sent from your endpoint is encrypted uh to the to the wazoo server right and then that's gonna happen and all that good stuff remote configuration in case if you wanted to monitor uh, sorry manage your your endpoint configuration you can always do that from the wazoo dashboard itself and uh, you know there is wazoo server itself you can see here uh it's straightforward i don't i'm not gonna talk a little bit of, uh, more about this but uh it has its own analysis engine and um, you know it also has its own dashboard which i just showed you which i'll log in here in a bit and then there is indexer right you want to make sure your information is indexed properly and you store those in, uh, logs which are being collected from your endpoints from your of uh, network devices from your um, api integrations whichever that you do are properly configured and you know uh, will be used for long-term storage or it could just be used for queries um you know from your dashboard itself that being said i'll quickly log into the platform and then show you what i'm talking about here right it's just checking uh, what i'm really doing is logging into the the dashboard as you can see here, I only installed an agent on one of the endpoint. I can click here and see which are the active agents. But more importantly, I really wanted to get familiarized with the UI here, right? Security event management, where you can just see your security events and integrity monitoring, obviously, in case if you need to monitor for any specific file changes, right? So for some of the regulatory compliance scenarios where you want to make sure you have the FIM enabled on your and all of your endpoints that holds um, you know sensitive information right so and uh you know auditing and policy monitoring where you can just you know monitor your policies that are set up you know check out the security configuration assessment uh you know you want to make sure you scan your assets as part of the audits um to get you know what configuration is in here and you know how we are compliant to it right so um, and you can see here regulatory compliance uh pci ds uh, dss nest 800 tsc gdpr hipaa are the five main components at this time uh, provided by Wazoo. And uh, threat detection and response vulnerabilities, you wanna make sure you check out the vulnerabilities from your endpoints, your you know Windows workstations, or maybe Windows servers, or it could just be your Red Hat, Ubuntu, you know, uh, and there are a few other operating systems that Wazoo supports uh, with regards to deploying agents. Um, and my tech framework, this is really gonna be helpful because, you know, every technique, every, every tactic being used by the adversary you want to make sure it's properly mapped so this way we exactly know what kind of threat that it is and where exactly it's being originated from you know who uses this kind of uh, threat and uh, you know some of the adversary campaigns can be found out via the, the techniques that are being used that being said obviously you know not no, no one technique is going to be used just by one adversary you know multiple multiple uh multiple te techniques are going to be used and we want to make sure we really understand the uh the attack scope as you can see here uh, pretty much straightforward i'm not going to deep dive in here but um uh there is you know details with regards to these four modules that i just talked about right security info management audit and policy monitoring threat detection and response and regulatory compliance and those are the key four things that are supported by wasu which is open sourced at this time and you can see the management administration rules decoders you, you can just do you know you can just configure your own stuff if in case if you like to 
uh, but I think uh, definitely Wazoo provides you know quite few uh, rule sets here. In case if you wanted, you can always create uh, you know custom rules and all that good stuff, um, and you can just uh, um, you can just uh, you know push those rules to uh, to your endpoints, right? So you can always adjust that good stuff, right? You know you can just do all kinds of stuff by adding the files and you know. You no, know, may push push those files uh, to your endpoints depending on how you see fit. Um, there are about one sixty four files that are being provided by Vazoo. Um, and again, like I said, it's open source. In case if you wanted to host, maintain, deploy um, this uh, Vazoo, uh, you can just do it and uh, you know own by yourself, and it's uh, free and open source. Uh, agents, I think that's really key because uh, that's how you would want to collect. Uh, the logs you know irrespective of the type of things that we do and uh, you know with regards to file integrity monitoring or it could just be you know vulnerabilities from your machine or the configuration itself overall how you really wanted to uh, you know visualize this that being said i installed an agent on one of the machine um, it's really it's really cool for me to see all the good information you know like ip address was uh, uh, agent version you know which group this uh, agent belongs to you can you know create your own groups in case if you wanted to separate your operating systems or maybe just by logically whichever makes sense to you right so and you can see the cluster node and how it, you know how it's connected to uh, I think I think based on this cluster node, I really wanted to talk about how you, you can deploy uh, uh, the Vazoo components. Like I said, the indexer, dashboard, the server um, on one single server, or it could just be a cluster of nodes, depending on you know how you see fit, and uh, depending on the number of uh, endpoints that you wanted to connect to the specific server to push the logs. And uh, there is some good documentation within the, uh, the Vazoo website itself. You can just read a little bit about it and see, you know, uh, you know how it fit, fits your scenario, right? Um, you know, you, you, you'll have to have some amount of, uh, you know, server space uh, because you want to make sure you have your logs stored properly, whatever this. Mm. Or maybe you have like you know thousand agents that you wanted to push this virtual agent on, and then you know you want because it's thousand agents, you know you gotta make sure you have some capacity, and uh, you you'll have to have your clusters to maintain some redundancy and uh, you know, failover scenarios as well. So that being said, um, this is the agent. Uh, as you can see here, I just clicked on one of the agent and see the security events. Uh, straightforward here evolution you can just see uh, who is the manager the agent ID 01 you know total um, events level 2 or above all those are 5 I can drill down and see here what are those 5 alerts right so uh, as you can see here um, it's a vulnerability detector and I can just uh, straightforwardly see you know what is the package that was affected you know how we can you know get this uh, you know vulnerability improved and uh, uh, the only thing that i'll have to just do is probably update the uh, you know um, endpoint uh, uh, software to the uh, latest version so that these vulnerabilities are going to be fixed typically right uh, it's not an application specific so uh, but yeah so it's it's really cool uh, you know i can just see all that good stuff uh, with regards to the vulnerability details uh, and all that uh, you know what is a cv associated um, and you know how this attack vector was discovered uh, high availability um, and uh, you know uh, the safari version and uh, all that good stuff here right and uh, the severity of the vulnerability and uh, you know uh, how did this uh, uh, came in right it's a, it's a log that was sent over um, and uh, uh, the root groups are associated with vulnerability detector all that good stuff I'm not gonna you know drill down and you know bore you up there but you can see those five hits there so that being said um, that's uh, that's a quick security events uh, aspect of it uh, uh, along with uh, the vulnerabilities itself and you can see here um you know listen ports and all that good stuff you know where are we collecting the rule uh, logs from the pci uh, dss requirements and uh, you know all the good stuff here and uh, you can see the vulnerability that is associated with the word that i have on my machine okay and it's being you know it's it's a great uh it's a great uh start to ensure that you're collecting proper logs from and uh 
and you can see uh, this is basically security configuration as assessment uh, that's being done by cis i can click on the policy and then see you know what's my score you know why are these 25 failed so one of the thing is ensure all apple provided software is current right but in my case it's not the case that's the reason why you had seen vulnerabilities and all that good stuff and ensure auto update is enabled and it is enabled um and uh, ensure download new updates when available is enabled it's enabled but if let's ch check one something that's failed ensure firewall stealth mode is enabled i did not enable this just to see you know you know what i'm compliant to and what i'm not as you can see here this is uh this is part of the compliance cis 222 um um 5.1 and 9.4 you know if it's version 8 4.1 CMMC, of course, you know, CM, CMMC version 2, you got to be compliant to that stuff. So, you know, that's how you just want to make sure, um, you know, we are compliant to it, right? So, SOC 2, of course, it's been compliant, um, you know. So, again, you know, this is going to be really helpful for me to understand what is my security configuration, how am I really doing on pretty much on a real near real time basis. As long as the agent is online, we should be able to collect these logs just fine. And of course, if the machine is shut down, you know, we, should, we can't see any of, of the logs being pushed out. Uh, so, um, again, like I mentioned, you know, there are quite a few stuff here, Office 365 integration, GitHub integration, and... Uh, you can see the regulatory compliance and you can always see the api console as well um what's the rule test and uh, all that good stuff in case if you like to but uh but i think i'll stop here and uh it's a, it's a great platform for you to really understand uh, the xdr and sim aspect of it and uh you know how far that you can take with regards to policy monitoring and error auditing and uh what can be done from standpoint of regulatory com compliance yeah absolutely you can always see that stuff and you can just do a lot of configuration uh here um 